you can easily convert a clipping path into a frame. Here's our old friend Ducky. I've placed a colored background behind him so that we can easily see when the white part of the tiff gets cut away. So in this case, this is a solid tiff. It doesn't already contain a clipping path from Photoshop or some other application. So first I'm gonna go up to Object, Clipping Path, Options, turn on Preview, and we'll choose Detect Edges. And that's pretty good. I could tweak it a little bit better, but for our purposes right now, that's just fine. So now we have a clipping path, but it's limited to this image. If you like, you can replace this with any other image after you turn the clipping path into a frame. Just right click on the image, choose Convert Clipping Path to Frame. Now we have an actual frame, and I can switch to the white arrow, move Ducky around, or I could even replace Ducky. And get a duck-shaped scene. This same trick works if the image already has a clipping path in it. InDesign will pick up on that and automatically make available the Convert Clipping Path to Frame option. 